Uh, we are currently arriving in Dorchester, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm with my dad. Hello. And we're about to go visit Team Wyachi Robotics. Yeah, it's a uh, little north of Abbotsford, Wisconsin. Approximately two hours away from Green Bay, where we live. Uh, should be around here somewhere. It That's it, West Star. Where? Uh, turn left okay. here. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're currently arriving at West Star Manufacturing. That's the uh, Team Wyachi. West Star. That's the so, Ewart family's uh, manufacturing company. So, we're about to go in and take a look. America's heartland. Not really. No giant, not from all one. Uh, mm -hmm. Last yesterday was actually his twentieth anniversary. Exactly. Wow. Um, and then last year uh, we won the Founders Award with Hydra. And then we, uh, a few guys made like three D prints of Sal. And then we actually have one of the original toys for Sal. Get up there, get up back there. in the day. What's it called? Asawa. Son of Bayashi. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's it. So it's That's like a little, yeah. So a few little trophies, trinkets here and there, yeah. When did you get started? Uh in 01. 01? That, that was our first year, yeah. Exactly 20 years pretty much is how long we've been in it so far. So. That's really cool. Hello, good morning. The bat with uh Battle bots, or was there? Nope, that was that was the first one. Yeah, that so, was that was watching it on TV the year before, and he's like, ah, I can probably do this. So then that first year, he went out with Sal and won the giant nut, and he's kind of been chasing it ever since again. The robots have evolved tremendously yeah, since then. Absolutely close last oh, yeah. year. <laughs> yeah, it was close all the way to the quarterfinals. Yeah, we uh, we made some modifications so we don't have that issue again. There was little tiny aluminum chips throughout all of our hydraulic panels, so they were just sticking. So yeah, our flips were like only four feet instead of twelve feet. So uh, oh, okay. yeah. So do you sell the components that you make to other uh, yeah. robot guys? Oh yeah, yeah, we got lots of lots of stuff out in the shop we can show you. Yeah. Cool. Like every other bot has a Wyatchee power switch. At, at least has a power switch, yeah, exactly. Oh my. Hello. So this is kind of our, our gearbox central. So we sell all the gearboxes that a lot of the bots have. Um, Malice actually has a few of these in there. Cool. Uh, we make 90 degree gearboxes and then we just have, you know, piles of switches for them to put in their box. So. Uh, this is this is technically the old, most old school one we have, but people still use this one. This is the TWM 3M. Uh, Witch Doctor still uses these. Oh yeah. So it's still kind of a, a useful thing that comes into play. A lot of people are going brushless now and now they're starting to make their own gearboxes. So. We're kind of getting out of the business a little bit, but uh, as far as the switches go, there's there is competition now. Um, you machine and, all these, you yeah, you fabricate we, everything. Yeah, we make everything, um, and what we can't make, like springs or whatever, we buy. So there's a few purchase parts on most of our stuff, but otherwise it's mostly in house. We used to make our own molded wheels too, and now people can just do them themselves. So we don't we don't sell any more of those either. Now, you could have came a few days ago and seen the legend happen itself. I just posted oh, it, actually. No. No. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, the frame. That's the frame, yes. Uh, I just stripped it down because that was the... That's not a draw package. This oh. is what makes it pump. If yeah. there's anything proprietary you don't want me to oh, do. No, no, no. You, <laughs> feel free. I don't, I don't want to give away any of your secrets, you know. No, no we post everything. We we, uh, we want somebody to try to make this thing. It's, it's so complicated. I mean, you can make a vertical spinner super easy, and this is not so much. No. Uh, but a few changes from this year is we went with the brushless pump now. So instead of about eight seconds for a full, full flip, we got four seconds now. And we actually uh, added two more air tanks to the back, which acts as the spring. So we have a little bit less of a difference between pressures from when it's dumping its pressure and not. 
so we should be able to get full of clips, which we did. We actually hit the uh, the roof of the door frame. <laughs> we, we come on here. This is Hydro's parts bin. Oh, those are the. They're so big. <laughs> what, what is this? That's all titanium. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of titanium. That's a lot. The whole frame is titanium. Everything oh in the bottom is pretty much titanium. The oh. thing that isn't are the, the flipper tongues. These are steel? These are all S7 steel, yeah. S7? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. That's hefty. Yeah. I know Witch Doctor uses S7 for their weapon. It, these are actually hardened harder than their teeth are. Oh, wow. To make it so that it's a little bit stronger, but it's a little more brittle. But we don't have a lot of impact stress, so we can have that extra bit. But otherwise, you got. You gotta have the oh, AR 500 have front ends. Oh, the toes, yeah. I yeah. call them toes. There's, yeah, they're <laughs> teeth, toes, someplace in that range. But yeah, those just go into the, the front little eyelets there. And then they all just free float on the floor, which I get stuck on the floor a lot. Because there's so many independent structures to them that it's... Even with the new floor? Well, the floor is new and it's flat, but in between the panels, they might mm, not yeah. be flat to each other. So that's, and they that's, get destroyed as... Yeah, as you start flipping shit in the air, it, they start hitting and moving the panels around. Uh, but yeah, we hit the, with the 250 pound test weight there, we actually hit the top of the door frame, which is 16 foot. No! Which is, which is the top of the battle box. <laughs> you can so, actually hit So potentially we can hit the battle box ceiling if we get a good enough flip. So it's, it could be coming this season that it's actually uh Can you tell me what this bot is though? Is that a spinner bot? It is. I, is it yours? Don't recognize no. that. <laughs> you should. Uh, hang on, hang on, we'll give it away. This is uh, Captain it's Shredder Raider. Gigabyte. Yes. gigabyte. Oh my yes, gosh. It is. That is the new titanium shell for Gigabyte. Jeez. What does titanium go for? Uh, now 40 bucks a pound. <laughs> Cause like you know, on my mountain bike, little screws will sell for like five dollars yeah. a piece. And... Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. So you guys support one another, huh? You keep machine and. Uh yeah, we keep uh, for some people who don't have shops in their backyards or whatever, and they need parts made. Um, a lot of teams are are starting to get shops or other places that they find sponsorships, and then they get all their machine parts through there. So we don't do a lot of other people's parts anymore, but I mean there's few, still a few staples like, you know, the shells and stuff that we, we kind of have our niche market in, yeah. So you engineer things for agri agricultural industry as um, well and... Uh, we do a little bit of everything. Uh, we work on farm equipment when they bring it in. Uh, we make movie props for huh. a certain spot. Um, for. We're kind of the middleman where he finishes the products, colors and whatnot, but we do all the machining. So like, we've made a Thor's hammer before. Oh, that's cool. Not for sure that it was in the movie, but it, we definitely made a Thor's hammer. And then there's like the Saw movie, like all the, the rib cage spreaders and stuff. We've made a lot of those parts for those. So you engineer them and such? Or are they mostly cosmetic and They're like mostly hero? cosmetic where we don't have to do most of the designing. He just throws us what he wants it to look like and then we can kind of just extrapolate from there and make the part. I just had it running a few days ago and now we're stripping it down to fix the damage from last season. Tiny little boy. That's tiny. One of the smallest. It's, oh, it's, it's pretty comparable to uh, Tantrum or Copperhead in, in overall size. I mean, if you don't put the if you don't put the spinner on it, the frame is is fairly small. Now, if we can just keep it from uh, starting on fire. Yeah. So why does it catch on fire then? Well, um, these speed controls. Speed, yeah, speed Everyone controls. talks about these speed controls. Like, what, what's the deal? Did they well, are they like maxed out and just they basically are. At everybody the end of doesn't 
you want to pack the smallest thing into the, exactly. the bot, so. Efficiency. Right. We didn't know that these motors could pull as many oh, amps oh. as they do. They're almost 10 horsepower each. Wow. So, yeah, they're. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tiny, tiny package. My that. gosh. Uh-huh. So yeah, the the speed controllers they just kind of start on fire when they get over amp. They're supposed to have over amp current to shut down, but they either don't work fast enough or whatever the reason is, so they just light up on fire. It seems to be the bottleneck for many. Yeah, Can yeah, we? it is. You know, if somebody could come up with a speed controller that actually like worked, <laughs> that would everybody would just buy into it then. But there's so many different settings and and things, and then you got to make them for. Weapon ones are easier because they only spin one direction. Right. But you go to drive, then you got to start and stop, and there's a lot more messing around with that. So, you know, watching uh, Senawayachi in 2016 was what got me into BattleBots in the first place. Uh -huh. When Sal destroyed um, the creepy crawlies and ultra violence. Yeah, that was that was our, our only three way that we've ever been in. Start touching arms and hammers. This what is I, one of the tri-hammers. It's one of the tri-hammers, yeah. Oh, okay. So on the, on that. Yeah, it's, it's also S7? Uh, yeah, yep, that's all S7. Uh, most, most of our uh, teeth and stuff, we always go with S7 um, instead of AR500, just because we can machine it and then harden it to our size. But that's, that's the size of sow. Oh, oh, that's wow. massive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's big when it's in the box. I really need more bananas for scale. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Look at the! It's did you so cut that off, or was that? That's sheared that's off? all from uh, that's last from, season. That's from Gigabyte. That's all from Gigabyte. When I got flipped <laughs> over, and then he just, I just kept telling him to just hit it. <laughs> it's not my box. Yeah, so. it's your brother's. <laughs> Two fifty. So when you when you go there, how many weeks or so is this? We're there for two weeks. And I'm I'm pretty much locked down. And and then. Is that way nothing is released and leaked no, out? No, not so much that way. We're under NDA, so they could come back and sue us for that, all that stuff. That. Um, but they want you on set filming, and there's always something to kind of be done. Either they're doing uh, pre-fight videos or whatever the day before your fights. B-roll. Or you have the actual fight that day where you show. We usually show up at about 6 in the morning every day, so mm -hmm. we're usually one of the first teams there. And then you stay until 10 or 11 at night every night because that's when the fights finally get done with and so you're hanging around inside this hot pit for a long two time. weeks yeah. so when you go out there do you have how many of these cases you're in well, just the one well we got this one and then we have the two that are sitting over here yeah this year we we sent one extra crate than we usually do we usually only send these two guys around the corner here we usually only send those but now that we brought three bots, and then we actually, this is the first year that we brought two frames for any of our bots, which would be fusion. We brought two frames. Of course, I think for Hydra this year, we're gonna bring maybe another frame, so we're gonna probably stick with three crates because we we'll just need all that extra room for more running stuff. Clearly, when they show you guys on TV, some teams come across as more prepared as others. You guys come across as very prepared. Like you have every contingency in mind. There's there's a few, yeah. We don't like to go into a match without, you know, being ready for the most part. Other than, you know, stuff that's out of our control for burning or whatever. Right. We try to make it as best as we can. Right. But yeah, a lot of other teams, they'll just like take off and they'll go sightseeing or whatever for a few days. And, and then of course we're bound to work. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen that plenty enough times. Or, or they're there just to be on TV. Right. That's the worst type. And they, they they hurt everybody then because then we can't like fight for more money from BattleBots to get in the show or anything oh, because yeah. they're just going to go no matter what. Yeah. So if we try to fight, they'll just say, oh, we can just replace you. And then, then we're back to square one again on fighting for any rights that we have. Team that also seems to be up the same caliber as like Rotator. They look like they have a lot of stuff too. <laughs> they are. They, yeah. He's pretty prepared. Yeah. Yeah, he he's got a big backer. What's uh, <laughs> what's that from? This is from the sixty pound. Yeah. Uh, Yu812. Like, that one's. Uh, that one looks like an older design. It's almost as old as the original Sal is. I think that was made the second year we were in. Look at that. The tiny. Oh yeah, we got little guys. Yeah. Fifteen pounder. Yeah, little fifteen pounder. So what is that for then? Just. Uh, that actually went in with Proof the big box, and we yeah. just kind of were messing around with it. 
Um, they used to have 15 pound competitions. Uh, actually the little, th this is our most winningest box. It's, it's kind of stuck back in here, but it's Falcon. Oh there. It's a drum spinner. The double drum spinner? No, just a single drum. We, this, technically the double drum sitting right next to it. But oh. this is our original that we made in high school. And then we won it twice in high school. Then we got booted because we weren't allowed to bring it back again. And then Clint brought it back in his college days, the same exact frame, everything. He won it that year. And so it's won, this one's won the most competitions out of any bot that we've had. Oh, that's Warrior. Yeah, yeah, it's-, it's You recognize, it looks like a Millennium Falcon. <laughs> it's, yeah, then that whole front end, that's all titanium again too. Gosh, that's a lot so yeah, of titanium. There's, there's a lot of titanium. We love our titanium. You know. And that's the fake bike rack. Yeah. That is the fake bike rack. That, I, yeah, that, that, I think that's when I first started uh, uh -huh. uh, emailing you. Want, you want to take that home? I don't need it anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got room. We got the van. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't need this one, though. You can take the fake one back with you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got. I think I sold the other bike rack parts for like two or three hundred bucks a piece. So apparently it made a, a mark on some people. <laughs> it did. I, I think it's like genius like, you know <laughs> I thought it was you figure really out the funny. problem and then you expend the least amount of engineering I'm, I'm oh, still engineering. catching flack for it though no. <laughs> yeah. it's because it was so simple they didn't think about there's, it there's some guys on reddit that just <laughs> oh my gosh they, they really hate you trolls <laughs> trolls do. they'll yeah. find something else to troll on if not you well I, I troll them back it's, it's just as hard so <laughs> I guess I kind of deserve it but this is our, our test rig for testing new gearboxes and stuff we'll throw them on the, the platform we'll drive it around test for longevity and and overall Ender, endurance yep very nice so we do some testing we, I, we don't like to sell any custom parts unless we test it at ourselves kind of thing yeah so we don't sell gearboxes without having it first tested oh, this is so cool man yeah there's a lot of stuff and then all of our this is the little Battery. batteries that's, that's these are the ones that use. give up the ghost <laughs> the, well actually even with the, all those fires we never lost a battery last year so max amps where we get these from are just incredibly uh, useful um, a lot of guys have bigger packs where they have like all of these into one cell but I, we like to be able to fit them in the box easier into smaller holes so wasn't we... fusion powered by like 12 batteries 18 of them <laughs> 18. 18 of those yep they were all stacked in here this was a completely full of stuff there was there is no room That's yeah, between weapons, you only have four and a half inches between your two weapons. Gosh. So, yeah, so it's... I've always wondered about that. It's like, well, why do they, why don't they just protect the batteries more? It makes sense because it's just full of batteries. Right. You know, no matter where you hit, you're gonna hit a battery. Yep. So yep. are they in like uh, a parallel setup that if you hit some of them, you still have some in reserve that um, you can carry they out? They are kind of parallel, but usually if you're getting that already hit, you, you need yeah, yeah, it's gonna end up yeah. spreading in fires. Lipo yeah. fire is bad because it gets super hot and then it's gonna spread. Where the speed controllers last year, they just flamed up. It looked like a rocket engine, like a model rocket engine, just for a few seconds and then it just stopped. So it's it was actually a fairly controlled burn, which helped us because it didn't burn down everything in there. But of course, once you lose one controller, then the other one's working harder and then that one probably flares up too. So. We actually sent the fusion frame out though with the spinner module and the gearboxes to Australia, to the speed controllers. So they're supposed to be working on getting it completely dialed in for, for our setup. So if they can't fix it, nobody can. They're the makers of the controllers. So, okay. so is this all like on a professional prototype thing or do you guys, do, do they pay you to get some of your feedback of this stuff to make no, it better for them? No, uh, we haven't got any, any uh, bills like that for, for working. In fact, they're, they're kind of just checking out the, the gearboxes on their own time. So we're not even technically paying them at this point to do it. But if they can get it to work, they could be the controller that everybody takes. So yeah. they could start making money that way, especially if we start pushing that, hey, this is the controller that everybody wants. So, so there's, there's at least a little bit of interest from them being able to have really good working controllers. So. And they're probably just like you, you know, their fingers and everything. Well, they're more of a, they are just speed controllers, but they're like military grade speed controllers. Oh, there you go. So they do a lot of drones and, and stuff like that. So where they haven't, I don't think they've seen the application 
of super high amps super quickly. And so they're maybe a little bit of a learning curve that they're on, but eventually they'll come around. But well, that's the fun of it all. I mean, you, you're always, you're not doing the same thing. You're always pushing that envelope L and developing change, things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are Falcon's drums up here? Yep. Mm -hmm. The double drum? The double, the deadly double drum, yeah. Uh -huh. That was, uh, that whole thing was uh, a failure from the you know, speed controllers again. Oh. They, uh, they couldn't work as it spun up fast enough. So it, it hit a certain RPM and then it would just shut itself down. So more speed controller issues. If we put these speed controllers that we have in that version, it probably would work fairly decent. But it was a, a late design and it had square walls and and pretty much no armor, so it was a afterthought kind of thing. Hmm.